Hi guys, Ash here, and this is my review of the Jelly Bean Check ROM for the Galaxy S3 that is based on the latest leaked release LG8 from Samsung. Uh, so let's take a look at this ROM. The ROM seems pretty smooth. Uh, I don't f see any lag in the home screens and so on. But as to the as to answer the question of uh, whether Project Butter does, I mean, is active or not. Uh, I'm really not able to say guys because uh, the Galaxy S3 is very smooth even on ice cream sandwich so uh, you know I'm not able to tell whether you know it's the uh, project butter which makes it smooth at this point or is it a placebo effect for project butter I'm not able to say it you guys can see how it is and you make the call by yourself uh, but then again some apps are a little slow to load up there are some slowdowns and lags when it comes to apps uh, and there is one uh, kind of important glitch here. Uh, going into the dialer, you will not be able to uh, hit any key apart from zero. Uh, to give you an example, I mean the smart dial feature does not work because of this. Uh, say you hit five, it's you've, you're gonna have to wait for it to close right now and give you a, the contacts is closed error. Has stopped. So the only way to actually make calls is to hit zero and then dial a number and it will work or go into contacts and um, call someone from there so that works too so guys as far as messaging goes for me I've not been able to text anybody uh, I keep getting a message uh, uh, message failed uh, error and this has not been reported on the forums I don't know whether it's just me or is, if it's an issue so I'm just letting letting you guys know for me messaging does not work uh, and as far as the Play Store goes, free apps, there are no issues downloading them. But uh, when it comes to paid apps, there are some issues downloading paid apps. So, again, just letting you guys know. Uh, the face unlock feature also seems to be missing here, guys. Uh, going into security. Screen lock. And you see the face unlock is missing. So guys, as far as features go, this is uh, this ROM is based on the on the leaked LG A8 ROM. So it, it's just Deodex, uh, Kitchen Pro added, and Clockwork mod, mod injected. That's it. So all your features are just the just the stock uh, Samsung features. There are no extra apps, uh, no tweaks whatsoever. Uh, but you do get Kitchen Pro, which works fine. There are a few incompatibilities but uh, to a large extent it works fine the, the themes and the widgets and morphing uh, works pretty decent uh, and guys the smart stay feature does not work uh, the camera does not start up the eye, the eye icon does not load and uh, to just show you I do have a smart stay selected does not work and uh, another issue is the haptic feedback does not work either as in when you hit the soft keys even even though I have haptic haptic feedback selected over here, I, I do not get the vibrations. But you do get vibration notifications when you uh, when you have vibrate when when ringing selected, while you get an incoming call or a text message, it does work. So guys, uh, Google now works fine. I've had no issues with it. Google, give me the weather. Guys, as far as connectivity goes, uh, as you can see, I've been on Wi-Fi so long, it works fine. I have no issues with Wi-Fi. And uh, moving on to 3G, again, works uh, works great. I've had no issues uh, with regards to data connectivity. Works fine. Bluetooth works fine. AVR, CP, audio, video, remote control profiles uh, work fine. Uh, as far as GPS goes, uh, I won't be getting a fix inside my apartments, but uh, works fine and the maps load up fine too. So no issues. A Wi-Fi death ring is semi semi broken, uh, but most times when we have when you have an open connection without any security, it connects. So uh, that's the workaround for right now. 
So guys, the most important thing about a ROM is the battery life, in my opinion, and the battery life uh, for this is pretty good. Uh, it's almost on the level of, uh, you know, regular ice cream sandwich ROMs. I've been using it for uh, just a day, but I've not seen any erratic behavior, so it's pretty good. The camera works fine, guys. No issues. Uh, 8 megapixel shots, no issues. The burst mode works. Everything works as it should. Uh, at times there are uh, there might be a little delay while switching to the front cam but apart from that HD video uh, flash everything works fine as far as boot times go uh, it's pretty good uh, on par with ice cream sandwich boot times uh, for touch with space ROMs uh, let me quickly show you that another weird thing is if you're gonna hit restart it's gonna ask you uh, whether you want to reboot to safe mode you have an option of cl clicking OK, I mean, uh, tapping OK, which will boot you to safe mode or cancelling it, which means you cannot restart that way. So let me power it off. Takes about nine seconds to power off, which is again pretty fast. So the phone is off, and uh, let me boot it back on. Boot times. It's about 18 seconds, guys. Nineteen seconds, so pretty fast. So let's go ahead and quickly run a few benchmarks here. Uh quadrant standard first. Four three seven two, and now and two two. Guys, I'm not a person who swears by benchmarks, so uh, but there are people who really go by benchmarks. So I just I'm giving you the scores. So there you have it, 12,507. So that's pretty much it guys for the review of uh, Czech ROM Jelly Bean for the Galaxy S3 i9300. Uh, if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section or you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. And before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, I will be coming out with more videos soon. Uh, and if you guys can help me out, if there's anything that you want to wanna, wanna order online and uh, if you can order it off Amazon, just use my links in the description to go through to Amazon. Uh, your prices and everything remain the same, it's just that if you go through my links and you end up ordering something, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks depending on uh, the value of the purchase. So it uh, doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff, it could be anything. So if there's something you want to order online, use my links if you can. That is if you guys do want to help me out. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.